Now, given that we have a lot of things on the horizon when it comes to Star Wars, including a lot of upcoming Star Wars movies, Star Wars TV shows, and exactly how the lore in between, such as the books and the comics, will serve as a way of supplementing exactly what happens in between all of these upcoming projects that are being developed by John, Dave, and other creators like Tony Gilroy. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, there's a lot of things going on between the Disney executives, Bob Iger, and the current Disney shakeup, and exactly what's happening there. There's a lot of different things and angles happening over at Disney on the future of Marvel and Star Wars and where that's all going to head, right? So, one of the biggest examples of what caused the fan division has a lot to do with the sequel trilogy movies. We know that those movies in particular have created a divide ever since then and really hasn't really, you know, cured itself as of right now. We still have a lot of fans that either, you know, hate the current state of Star Wars or are enjoying where Star Wars is going. It's a real struggle for not just Disney, but also for the fans themselves. Now, given that Ahsoka is going to be like the very first Star Wars show that has had zero input from Kathleen Kennedy herself during the scripting, during the principal photography phase, she had no impact on the Ahsoka series whatsoever. Meanwhile, for Mando Season 3, she did have control over the script, but not during filming, just to be clear. But that brings us to the sequel trilogy movies and exactly what Disney has planned that may come across as a bit of a shocker and a surprise. And whether or not this is going to be a waste of time is really all dependent on the majority of the fans' view of this. Now, of course... On top of that, with Disney and Lucasfilm preparing to move ahead with major projects for the fans, one of the big projects that was recently revised by the Disney board and the Disney executives has a lot to do with turning Star Wars back into an event with upcoming films. One of the grand strategies that are now being put together by Lucasfilm is to essentially remake the sequel trilogy movies and to release them for their 10-year anniversaries. All of the sequel films are planned to be treated as special editions that will include canonized deleted footage implemented into each enhanced sequel film, with new additions also to already existing scenes. This is also a plan for Disney to improve the likability of the sequels to give them a second chance. The Force Awakens special edition is set for release sometime in December of 2025 as part of a 10-year anniversary, followed by December of 2027 for The Last Jedi, and December of 2029 for The Rise of Skywalker. This is, however, not to be confused with the extended cuts that are still in the works to be released on Disney Plus by the end of 2025 that will include tons of more deleted footage in a more unorganized way. Now, let me just stop right here for one second. Now, this is something that I think might be a waste of time among fans if not done correctly. If they do execute this very well, and if it's well crafted, this could very well make the sequels better. I'm not sitting here saying that this is a definitive thing, that the sequels are going to turn out to be a masterpiece or anything like that, just because we're getting some deleted scenes and they're going to enhance the story, they're going to rearrange some of the scenes to kind of change the flow of those movies a little bit. So that's one thing that I think really is all dependent on two things, the fan reception and the overall execution by Disney arranging this. So again, we know that they're already beginning to do this with the original trilogy movies and the prequel trilogy films as well, but they're not changing those movies. They're just re-releasing re them. In fact, The Return of the Jedi is out today, by the way, guys, in theaters. Go ahead and check it out if you guys would like to go ahead and see that in theaters, in person. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Go ahead and check it out. Now, the originals are going to be re-released as well as the prequels, but they're not being changed. The sequels though will be. They're going to be rearranged, it's going to have deleted scenes thrown in there, it's going to be enhanced, and it's just going to be a different type of flow for each and every movie for their 10-year anniversaries. This is a Disney damage control mo move, in my opinion. If you guys want my honest take on this, it is some kind of damage control to really kind of just boost the fans' 
confidence, I guess you could say, or interest in the sequels. And look, to me, this might be pure entertainment, but do I think that this is going to fix anything related to, you know, the fans' issues with the sequels? Not necessarily, because fans see, you know, this plan for what it really is. You know, it is basically a way to kind of just change the fans' minds. It's a marketing move. But again, like I say, I think it's going to be entertaining. It's not going to fix anything in the long term, in my opinion. But who am I to say, right? You know, depending on how it's, ex on how it's executed, it could very well turn things around. Now, here's the better part about all of this, all right? So let's move on from all of this now. So the overall special editions meant for the theaters that are planned to be to actually edited and enhanced in a very organized way are also specifically to be re-released of course the films again to create them as an event to also introduce the sequels to the next generation one of the big plans by disney is to have both favreau and filoni look over the editing of these special editions along with george lucas one major example of a plan is to enhance existing scenes, such as adding Force Ghosts, aiding Luke Skywalker as he performs the Force Projection technique. This has been storyboarded already for the special edition of The Last Jedi. With John and Dave becoming a part of these new additions, Disney is desperate to improve the sequel films in comparison to where they stand as of right now. So be aware that they are doing everything that they can to really kind of just give fans a very different view of the sequels and everything related to how JJ and Ryan really just failed the fans. Now look, I've said this many times before, when I watch the sequels, I like them in short bursts. And what I mean by that is, there are a number of scenes in each movie that I enjoy watching, but the movie in its entirety, I don't really consistently enjoy them. I don't. Uh, I feel like it has bits and pieces that are very fun and entertaining to watch, but each movie in total is just, to me, disjointed and just out of place and not as engaging as the prequels of the originals. When you see the prequels of the originals on TV, right, you flip that on and you can watch that from start to finish like it's not even a chore. When it's the sequels, for me, when it comes on TV, you know, if I check it out, it feels like a chore. It feels like you have kind of just like, oh, all right, yeah. commercial break comes on and you just switch the channel. That's how I actually end up doing things when it comes to the sequels on television. So you don't really have that full engagement. I think that's something that is different with the sequels in comparison to the prequels and the originals. That's just me though. I don't know about you guys. would love to hear your input on all of that. So do you guys think that this is going to fix anything? Do you think that this is a very bad idea by Disney and Lucasfilm to further eventitize, of course, the whole Star Wars future when it comes to movies and re-releases? They're already doing it right now with the originals. Again, they're not changing them. They're just re-releasing them. Uh, Return of the Jedi is out now. So guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.